You thought you got rid of me, but I'm not letting up. I'm taking over the internet. We're taking over Cardano ecosystem. I got another video for you, another altcoin video on the Cardano ecosystem. If you've been following me, I made a whole entire series about how I'm researching pretty much every single DeFi altcoin in Cardano before September 12th, the launch date. They come out with smart contract capability. As you can tell from the tone of my voice, I'm extremely excited. another video and here's another one and actually I took action on this one right here I didn't necessarily purchase it but I'm participating in the launch event towards the end of this video exact end of this video I'm actually gonna give you a step-by-step -step tutorial and how you can participate in this decentralized exchange coin again if you've been following me along in my journey I've been researching every single altcoin in the Cardano ecosystem, I'm specifically looking at DeFi right now, decentralized exchanges and the liquidity of the Cardano ecosystem. I'm not just out here telling people top altcoin to $5 million. I'm actually comparing and contrasting every single fundamental analysis variable in the whole entire ecosystem. People are researching one coin that they got regurgitated by from some person that they respect, and then they're calling it a top altcoin. I am comparing and contrasting every variable, the team, the product, the tokenomics, the liquidity, the marketing, everything to come to an actual conclusion. If somebody else is not providing you with this research, well, you need to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and of course, share it with a friend. Also, there's only about 20% of my subscribers that have the push notification bell on. Guys, some of the videos I talk about will move almost immediately. Like within 24 hours, some of the altcoins will do pretty well. So if you wanna get the content first, go to that little bell, click the bell, and get the content first. Let's jump to the actual topic of discussion here. So if you come over here, you can see this is the whole entire Cardano ecosystem. I'm gonna get straight to the point. I have been researching the liquidity because I believe it's one of the most important factors of every ecosystem. Where is the money going? How is it being utilized? Where is the capital efficiency in the market, et cetera, et cetera. So we've gone through the vast majority of them. And today we're gonna be talking about CoinLink and MinSwap, which again, like I said, I'm actually excited. I'm participating in the MinSwap uh, launch and, and I'll explain all the details, of course. Uh, of course, of course, like the classic style of all of my videos. So let's jump into actual product of CoinLink. Now, CoinLink looks like some fifth grader put it together and you know they made their website in literally like two hours and that's just the honest opinion. Basically, the gist here is they have no representation of the product except for this fake image that we don't even know if it's true. They say the demo is coming soon. You should already have the demo out. You know, some of these other uh, decentralized exchanges already have the demo out. So it looks like they're beating around the bush, okay, in general. I look at their medium and this is the best explanation of their product that they have. They don't even have a white paper or maybe I can't find it, that's bad marketing, but I really can't find it. And I've researched thousands of white papers and I cannot find their white paper. But in general, this is the only thing they have as an explanation and it's very vague and it's pretty much regurgitating what other projects are saying about you know, uh, Cardano and Alonzo Hard Fork. It's very vague. They don't explain anything except for the fact that they said they're going to be, you know, on the Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, Cardano. If, if this was true, they would already be on Binance Smart Chain. They could do it right now. And they would already be on Polygon and Ethereum. But they're not. They're not on anything. They're just coming out with the hype of Cardano. They're literally using the hype of Cardano to launch a coin, which is very sad. And this is exactly why, I'm going on a tangent here. This is exactly why I keep telling you guys that all coins suck. It's pretty much gambling. But some of you are putting your whole net worth into 27 altcoins and you have no idea what these people are doing in the background. They're taking advantage. Some of these guys make 15 projects. They'll, they will work on 15 projects and the one that takes off is the one that they stick to. And it, you're investing in some of the ones that are dead projects. It's just the truth. You need to understand how to use fundamental analysis to weed out and filter the Brad projects. You guys know I use my checklist system and I pretty much give you all of the information on this channel. I literally break it down step by step exactly how you should be researching it. Not only that, how you should be weeding out the fake information as well. That is a skill. 
It is a skill to weed out fake information. If you believe everything on the internet, if you go on Google and you search something and read the first page, you do not know how to weed out fake and false and low quality information. And I'm here to save you all. And my mustache has powers, I'm just joking. But seriously, this website was put together in less than 24 hours, it seems to me. They did not spend any time on this. It is a pitiful attempt at an actual cryptocurrency. And I'm snapping. They are saying things and not providing any evidence or research. So I got scared and skeptical and I started diving into basically their team because they have nothing else. I can't even tell you guys the tokenomics or anything. And as you can see, their marketing is trash. But if we go to the team, these guys are basically, I, I think they're from like, uh, you know, some other country or something like that. It looks like they're German. Um, and they are not on the internet. The guys, I dove deep, deep. I went into their LinkedIn, very vague. This guy just says he works for this uh, tax pseudo software or something like that for 22 years. No other background. It looks like he just created this LinkedIn out of thin air. It kind of looks like a bot a little bit. I background searched his actual image to see if I could find him again. I'm not seeing anything except for this page here, which is in German. I actually translated the page. I don't see anything. These guys are hidden for some reason and they're not anywhere on the internet. So that is a big red flag to me considering the fact that you are creating a decentralized app on web 3.0 and you have no presence on the internet. This is the only guy that has something on here, but he just literally has two jobs. How can I believe this? I'm not gonna believe this if you're not anywhere else, right? I reverse image search pretty much all of them. And I even looked up their names. I could not find these people. I reverse image search this person and she's supposedly the only thing I could find is IT recruiting consultant. So it seems to me like you don't, you're not a marketer. You're an IT recruiting consultant from this random website that I have no idea about that's very vague with low information. For all I know, this could be a stock footage and they are just basically lying to everybody. And you know, for people who are like, oh, Alex, you're crazy. They don't do that. They do that. I've seen it a lot, actually. I've seen a lot of scams come out with these fake actors or these stock footage images and make these websites. The fact that I can build this website better than they can and I could put together more you know, information in less than a week is a big red flag. This roadmap is very vague and looks like it was copy and pasted from a children's workbook. It really does. Very vague. Everything about this screams vague and their marketing is trash. It is the low of the low. They have pretty much nothing going from like this marketer here doesn't look real. 43 members on Telegram. We go to their Twitter. I mean, 295 followers. Honestly, I'm very surprised someone followed them in the first place. We go to the actual medium. There's only two medium articles. Guys, the launch date is coming up. What are you doing? You might as well not even be considered on this list. They are not a project on this list. Let them go. Um, you know, whoever made this list, what is this coin 98 analytics guys don't even put them on the list. You're wasting my time here. So let's just get out of this project and stop wasting our time and jump into the next one, which is min swap. And this is a well put together decentralized exchange. This video is hot and cold, man. This video is hot and cold because that was probably one of the worst examples of a decentralized exchange I experienced. And this is probably one of the best. I would even probably consider it top three. I don't know. Towards the end of the series, guys, make sure you subscribe because towards the end of the series, like I said, I research every single, every single liquidity protocol. I'm going to make a top three decentralized exchange Cardano ecosystem video for history, for the masses. I'm going to put it together very detailed. The video is probably going to be like an hour long. You guys know my classic style research where I dive extremely deep. I'm going to be making a top three after this. And some of the coins that I've been raving about in my last videos, which by the way, you should watch them. It's in the description below. You should literally watch the whole series so you can learn how to research. Some of those coins are already popping off. So if you can wait for my top three altcoin video or you could just get it, it's down below. Like it's clear the winners. I've already talked about it a couple of times. Ergodex, Sunday Swap, ADAX. These look like they're gonna be in the vicinity. I gotta compare them one more time. I gotta dive a little bit deeper. I gotta literally like, I've already researched them and compared them and I got to do it again. I usually go through about five iterations of research before I actually really come into an aggressive conclusion. Obviously, I've already invested in ADAX, but if I find one good, I'm going to invest big time and try to really make some money because these are about to do very, very well. So let's jump into the MinSwap, uh, you know, actual, you know, project here. You can see the website is very well put together. It's clean. It's simple. It, it's, you know, as you can see, animated there. Um, it shows what you wanted to see. It has a roadmap, very good color scheme. By the way, you know, if I forget to say this before, I just remembered it. 
whoever is their designer, 10 out of 10. You deserve an award because they have a whole theme going on, which is really good for DeFi protocols because we've seen like food animation things pop off before. For some reason in cryptocurrency, they like the meme culture and, and some of these projects that do really well, like Sushi Swap and these funny like food, you know, kind of like protocols, they just do well. It seems like whoever made this really knew how to tap into the cryptocurrency community. They're checking off a lot of boxes and they're selling it in a way that I know cryptocurrency enthusiasts are going to like, including their branding and marketing. If we go into the actual project, they have a couple of really nice features here. Fair launch, no pre-mine, no pre-sale. MIN tokens are distributed fairly to protocol participants and early adopters. They have yield farming. The MIN tokens are rewarded to liquidity providers who stake their liquidity pool tokens. Launch pool, supporting new projects in the Cardano ecosystem with the initial DEX offering or IDO or initial farm offering permissionless. This is just features of decentralization. They're obviously community driven, they're community first. All trading fees go directly to liquidity providers. That's great. MIN tokens can vote just like anybody else. Um, it's Ethereum compatible, stake pool uh, operator support. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, they are not like doing anything super special. They don't have like a patented technology that's different from anybody else from what I've, I'm seeing here. But the way that they're selling it, they just know what the cryptocurrency community wants, man. They're doing it the right way. Now on their website, they have this little app button, but it's saying coming soon. So unfortunately we can't actually see a feature of their app. If we look into the tokenomics, this is where they're doing really well. Total supply is 5 billion, uh, but the great part here is 70% goes to the public, even more than that. 70% goes to yield farming, and then 2.5% goes to the FISO airdrop, which I'm gonna show you guys how to get the free airdrop. You're getting free tokens. Towards the end of this video, I'm gonna do the whole entire tutorial right in front of your face so you guys can get access to it. Um, and then Dow Treasury gets 6%, which is owned by the people that vote on the protocol, so it's kind of still to the public. The only thing they took is 10% to the core team, 10% to the development fund, and 1.5% for the incentives and partnerships. Which, hey, guys, this is one of those tokens I wouldn't mind partnering with. You know, I really would not mind partnering with them. Hey, MinSwap, if you wanna reach out, please reach out because you guys are definitely doing it right. I, I definitely see some good things happening from this protocol for sure. So this is the actual, this is that uh, airdrop that they were talking about here. And again, I'm gonna go over it towards the end of this video, so don't worry about it. But their tokenomics are really good. The fact that they're giving early adopters some free airdrop tokens, and then they're providing 70% of it to people that yield farm on the platform. It's the closest thing to a fair, it's not an actual, I don't know why they called it an actual fair launch. It's not, fair launch is where 100% goes to the community. Um, but that is an aggressive amount. Tokenomics is like an eight out of 10, nine out of 10. It might be the best tokenomics out of any decentralized exchange coin on the Cardano ecosystem from what we've been researching. So what they say here, just to give you guys a uh, you know, heads up when it comes to timing, it launched August 18th. And if we look at the actual Cardano blockchain, this day right here, August 18th was this right here. And they said that it's gonna last 20 epics. So don't worry, you have like 100 days to get involved with this actual launch. So take your time, do the tutorial right. Don't send your Cardano to a weird wallet. Please don't mess up. Um, but yeah, uh, towards the end, we'll have the whole entire tutorial. So don't worry about it. Um, they actually have a dashboard. So the dashboard right now is just made uh, for the pools. Uh, so that the, de the delegation pools that we're gonna talk about, basically what you have to do is you have to get Cardano and stake it or delegate it to their pool, to their pool right there, the ones that they have verified. And for doing so, you will get airdrop tokens and you'll actually gain you know, ADA, just like you're staking anywhere else, they're gonna give you ADA. Plus, if you go to the smallest pool, which is exactly what I did, they give you an extra 25% bonus or a multiplier, 1.25X multiplier. So coins on coins on coins. I don't even have to invest in this project. Like it's non-speculative. Like I just don't even have to invest. I could just literally do, you know, the delegation and I'm getting the free tokens. So I don't know, you guys tell me, it's great. Okay, so if we look at the team, this is where most people would probably be like, I don't know, Alex, their team looks kind of young. They look like they're kind of like not serious. But when I looked into it, honestly, in this case, it, this is like beneficial. They're young, they're hungry, they're doing it the right way. They, it looks like they're like crypto natives, like they came from cryptocurrency, they give me the crypto vibes. Look at the designer right here with these NFTs coming out. They have a design, they went, they actually purchased a designer. They got a designer on their team. Like most projects are not doing this. They're doing it the right way. Um, and some, some of these guys are actually, they have experience for being young. Even though they look young, they have experience. Like this guy right here, um, he's full-time, full let me say it again, 
full time in Minswap. Some of these guys are not full time. They're, they're working on seven projects. Um, he was an infrastructure engineer for a startup company. He was also an intern for AWS. Obviously, he's young. Obviously, this is bad experience. But again, like it's not always about like super intelligent, experienced people for 20 years. Sometimes you want that young, hungry person that can adapt on a dime, that can really get with the cryptocurrency times. Like some of these guys, when I'm researching the project, they're coming out, they're literally trying to launch their cryptocurrency as if it was an IPO. As if it was like literally stocks or something. That's how they're trying to launch it. These guys are launching it in the cryptocurrency native way. And his work ethic is outstanding. 1,225 contributions in the last year. He knows what he's doing and he's taking action aggressively. I like young people that take action aggressively. We have another person here um, that's a software engineer. Now he is uh, working, it looks like, in two different places on one mount and he's a co-founder. And he has a little bit of experience. Basically, the gist here, just to save time, these guys are young, they're hungry, they're clearly developing and coding, they're putting in massive amounts of effort, um, and they know what they're doing. Uh, but they're obviously not old, and they don't they don't have the benefits of you know years under their belt, right? Um, this guy was a DevOps engineer, a mobile engineer, a full stack engineer. This guy looks like he's the biggest, uh, he has the most experience. But in general, they all look like they're pretty young. He's not putting too many contributions. It looks like he just joined. Um, if we look at this guy over here, same thing, full stack developer, front end developer, they're all young and hungry. That's what it looks like to me. He has uh, some contributions, only 101. Um, but in general, the, it just looks like their team, I don't know, I just feel like the way they launched it was so correct that I had to give them kind of like more bonus points, even though their team is young and inexperienced. I just had to. That's just the way I'm feeling. So if we go to actual marketing, let's just pull up some of their actual platforms. I don't know if this is necessarily true. I looked at it, but... Uh, I don't know where they got these numbers from. I looked at it, could not find. I don't know where they got these numbers from. It could be a lie. I'm not 100% sure. I'll talk to my developer. He'll break it down in more detail for me. and I'll, I'll update you guys in a later video. Um, but that's the only thing that bothered me. The website's good. It's interactive. They're explaining in a very simple way. Um, they have a roadmap. Um, they're executing on their roadmap. They're actually checking off the boxes. So that's good. Their um, actual Reddit, 533 members. That's not bad at all. But this, is, man, I told you guys, their branding is phenomenal. Their branding is really, really good. They got all this, they literally have merch. They have merch. They're taking it serious. Um, they're trying to spread this coin to the right way, the, the meme way, which is the cryptocurrency way. And, and they have, this designer is pretty good. That's all I got to say. He's pretty good. He's doing, he's doing work. If we look at their actual Twitter, they have 12.4K followers, which is, seems to be like the standard for all of the good protocols in you know, the Cardano ecosystem. It's definitely the standard. So they're following that standard. And they have you know, open transparency. They're actively engaging. They're not really hitting the 1% engagement rule, but dang, look at this branding, man. They got literally comic books inside of their Medium articles. There's literally comic books. I love it. I don't know why. I just I have a really good feeling about this. And the fact that... Um, I'm not even going to invest in the coin. I'm just going to mine my ADA or I'm sorry, stake my ADA um, and I can get free airdrop tokens. It just like it's a no brainer. Like you might as well just stake ADA to their pool. If we, And this is not financial advice. This is, this is not financial advice. If we see the community, 718 online, they have 3,263 members. Pretty good. Not bad. And like I said, they are taking this very seriously. Their branding is phenomenal. Uh, but yeah, so in general, this project, I told you guys, I'm going to be staking to their pools to get the free airdrop. I'll leave the tutorial towards the end of this video. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Guys, right after this, it's going to be the tutorial, I promise. But really quickly, guys, I'm diving into the ecosystem. We're almost done. And then I'm doing a top three altcoin video. So make sure you stay tuned, stay woke. And don't invest in scams. Catch you guys in the next video. What's going on, everybody? Fundamental Secrets. So I got another video for you guys. If you've been following me on my YouTube channel, I've basically been diving deep into the Cardano ecosystem with the decentralized exchanges. And there's this one um, that I'm actually really excited about, MinSwap, as you can see here at the top. Um, and they just recently, on August 18th, came out uh, they call it the FISO. So it's basically a different way of distributing tokens. Um, basically, the way they do it is they have 10 small stake uh, pools to delegate. Um, they have 50, 15 pools in reserve. By participating, you increase the decentralization of the network. 
Um, doing so, you pay no fees, um, save for SPO margin fees, which are capped for participating pools. Uh, so basically the gist here is they need you know, help with decentralization. Um, so you can delegate your stake to their pool. You'll earn ADA. So you take, you're, you're doing this with ADA. You're taking Cardano, you're delegating it to their pools. Um, you're earning ADA, but also they're going to airdrop you their tokens. They're going to, they're going to airdrop when they actually launch their tokens, they're going to airdrop that to you. So this is actually a really easy thing to do. And they also have a rewards calculator where if you uh, delegate to a smaller, um, pool, they'll give you a 1.25, uh, you know, multiplier. Um, so as you can see here, they calculate the rewards. It's very simple. I'm not going to go into this, but look, you have a 1.25x point multiplier for delegating the smallest pool at the time of delegation. And basically the gist is, is the same thing as you staking Cardano anywhere else. It's just you're staking it to their pool. So it starts August 18th. There's no harm in delegating early. Um, you know, and you can see here their delegation will count towards MIN airdrops immediately starting at 18th. Whether you bring the same delegation amount two weeks early or on 18th, it will earn the same amount of MIN tokens overall. So in general, if you just stake to this pool, just <laughs> it, you'll get the fees no matter when you start. So it's really good. Um, also, the FISO is going to last uh, only 20 epics. And if you know how Cardano works, basically there's an epic about every five days. So 18th was the first epic. Um, and now we have a long time guys, by the way. So just do the math, 20 epics times five days, hundred days. So you don't have to rush to do this, but I highly recommend you do it quick because you might as well stake your Cardano anyways. So really quickly, let's walk through it. So first thing you have to do is you down, download Yori wallet. It's very, um, light wallet. You can put it on your Chrome browser, Firefox. They have different, I just do it on Chrome because that's what I'm used to. You download the wallet and you create your, your private key. Um, and you create your actual wallet. Now, I'm not going to walk you guys through that. You should already know. If you don't know how to create a wallet and save your private key the right way, I need you guys to go into the Fundamental Secrets. We have some videos in week two um, where it teaches you exactly how to do that. It's either week two or three. It's in the beginning of the course. You should have watched the course anyways. Um, but basically, I just show you guys how to create uh, you know, a browser wallet. It's the same exact thing. And then from there, I just have a little bit of money, a little bit of my ADA on this wallet here. You can see I have Alex. Um, the thing is, I you know I have multiple wallets, so you you don't have to do that. I'm just doing this for the sake of uh, you know this actual tutorial, and it's very simple, guys. You know the deal. Yori Wallet's right here. You open up Yori Wallet. You receive wherever your your ADA is at, wherever your ADA is. Send it right. Uh, copy this. This is the public address. Send it to this address, you'll receive it. You should know how to do a transaction. If you don't, again, get through the course. It's very important. I make it make these videos for a reason. I don't need, need to like redo every single time I send a transaction and show you, show you guys exactly what's going on. I don't need to do that, right? So if we come over here to the actual dashboard, you see I have total ADA, it's already delegated. It's already delegated, um, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. It's very simple. So if we go over to FISO, uh, the, the, you know, the actual launch of the tokens and exactly how to participate, they have a link somewhere around here, right here. Um, stake out of one of the 10 active pools. You can see the active pool is here. Very simple, okay? So I just went with the smallest pool because they said they have a 1.25X multiplier, right? Smallest pool is 25% bonus. So I went with this one. It's very simple. You just take this, copy it, Come back over to the Yuri wallet. Very, very easy. Here, this one's already open. You go to delegation list, boom, and you search by ID or username, control V, and there you go. Right there, you click delegate. I already did it. It comes up, ask for your password, and you delegate. It's really that simple. That's that's literally the end of the tutorial. Um, you delegate it there, and then they will airdrop you the tokens and on the launch date. So you could do more if you want to. Um, there's a little breakdown on the on the website. I'll leave a link uh, in the description for you guys so you guys can see it. But basically, the more you put in, there's kind of like a, a diminishing return. So if you're like a big whale, uh, you can't make as much as, you know, when it comes to the ratio of how much you make um, with people under, what is it, 100, 100K ADA? Yeah, so um, it, it helps with decentralization. You know, it's really good. Uh, in general, I'm going to be doing a full review on YouTube, so stay tuned for that. But 
this is the actual uh, you know, tutorial, uh, and you guys will see why I like this project so much on YouTube. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.